Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In the previous videos, we were studying about the properties of compact linear operators. Now, in this video, we'll be going to study another property of compact linear operators. So, this property is about the null space of compact linear operator. So, it states that whenever we are talking about the null space of a compact linear operator, it is a finite dimensional space. So, first of all, before getting into the result, you should remember what is a null space. So, a null space is basically a collection of all the vectors from the space. So, suppose we are taking the space to be the space x, the normed space x. So, in that case, uh, whatever operator we are is taking, for example, t, so it will map all the elements or all the vectors to the identity of that space to 0. So, the collection of all those elements which are being mapped by the operator t onto 0 is uh, uh, that uh, they all lie in the null space of the given operator. So, uh, this theorem basically tells us that spectral theory of compact linear operators that is as easy as the theory of linear operators on finite dimensional spaces. How? Because uh, you'll see that in a moment. So, we are saying the spectral theory of compact linear operators is nothing but the theory of linear operators which are defined on finite dimensional spaces. And we all know on finite dimensional spaces, the theory of linear operators is nothing but the matrix theory, the eigenvalue theory of finite matrices. So, uh, you see, we, we started from compact linear operators and we ended at the matrix theory, which all of us know quite well. So, let's see how this happens and what exactly is the result. So, the result here, it states that if we have an operator t from the normed space capital X to the same normed space, if this operator t here, that is a compact linear operator, right? That is a compact linear operator on the normed space X. Then for every real or complex number lambda, which is non-zero, the null space of uh, t lambda, that is n t lambda, and what is t, uh, t lambda? t lambda, we have already defined this to be t minus lambda i. So, this thing, the null space is finite dimensional, right? So, this is the uh, theorem. This is the result. It says, states that whenever we have a compact linear operator on a no normed space, uh, the null space n t lambda is finite dimensional. So, I have already told you what is a null space. This thing we have covered, all those elements uh, from the space X such that uh, all the elements here mapped by T onto the identity element. So, this is the null space. Now, in order to prove this result, in order to prove that the null space of a compact linear operator is finite dimensional, what do we do? We uh, use the result that we firstly take the closed unit ball in the null space, which we denote by capital M right? Uh, we firstly show that this ball is compact and by this result, this is some previous result, using this result, if we are able to prove that this ball is compact, then according to the result, this has to be finite dimensional, right? So, in order to prove that it is compact, what do we do? We take some sequence, some arbitrary sequence xn in that unit closed unit ball, right? What do we mean by closed unit ball? So, it would have a radius of uh, unity and it is closed. That means all the boundary points are involved, included in this ball, right? And all the elements here are part of this ball. Okay. So, we are saying xn is a sequence in this ball. Then, this sequence is bounded. Why? Because here, the distance of every element has to be less than 1. The distance from the center of every member of this sequence has to be less than equal to 1, which is represented by norm. So, norm of xn has to be less than equal to 1. So, this sequence is bounded. Now, uh, that means we are taking a sequence xn in M, which is bounded. So, uh, Txn has a convergent subsequence T 
x n k why this is so because we know t is given to be a compact linear operator so if this is compact operator using the uh, compactness criteria every bounded sequence when t is applied on to it has a convergent subsequent subsequence here t x n k right so here we have uh, what what do we uh, ha have proved here we considered an arbitrary sequence this sequence is bounded and because t is compact t x n this sequence would have a convergent subsequence namely t x n k now because x n was there in m the closed unit wall right and m this wall was a part of the null space right so obviously this x n has to be in the null space of t lambda if this is in the null space of t lambda then we can apply the definition of null space which tells us that t lambda of x n that has to be zero right according to the definition and what is t lambda t lambda is t minus lambda i so we can write t lambda as t minus lambda i applied on to x n that has to be zero so this is nothing but this thing t lambda uh, t of x n minus lambda x n so this is equal to zero so using this expression here we can separate out x and because this lambda is not equal to zero we are able to write the inverse of this lambda and we are able to write x n as lambda inverse of t x n right so now because this t x n this sequence has a convergent subsequence t x n k so therefore when we apply lambda inverse which is some complex or real number onto it this sequence would also converge right because t x n k was converging so it would also converge lambda inverse t x n k and what is lambda inverse t x n k it is nothing but x of n k so this sequence would also converge so that means we considered some arbitrary sequence in m and we are able to show that this sequence is convergent in m now because this sequence is convergent in m and m what was that it was a unit disk centered at 0 having radius 1 in the null space right so therefore and uh, we have considered this to be a closed unit ball so because m is closed and we have a convergent sequence here so according to the basic property of topology the limit of the sequence has to lie in this ball only so therefore if the limit here lies in this ball so we can say this uh, m the set m is compact here why because every sequence in it has a convergent subsequence and the limit is also lying in that uh, set only so therefore this unit ball is compact here and because this was an arbitrary sequence we can say that m here is the set m here is compact and because it is compact it is has to be finite dimensional so that is what we have made here uh, if we show that the closed unit ball is compact then it has to be finite dimensional so we just proved that the null space of a compact linear operator on a normed space x for every non zero lambda is finite dimensional well that is it for this video thank you for watching